Before the opening bell, U.S. indices closed higher on Tuesday, led by shares in semiconductors and semiconductor equipment, insurance and banking sectors. On the economic docket, industrial production falling 0.1% month over month in March, and we also had capacity utilization fall to 78.8%, while the NAHB housing market index rising to 63 in April from 62 one month earlier. This all as 55% of S&P 500 constituents, they traded higher yesterday. Now, after the markets closed, Netflix reporting first quarter diluted EPS of 76 cents versus 64 cents a year ago on revenue of $4.52 billion. Net change in first quarter U.S. subscribers growing by 1.74 million and unveiled international subscribers growing by 7.86 million. Meanwhile, United Continental announcing first quarter adjusted EPS of $1.15 versus 49 cents last year on operating revenue of $9.59 billion. And IBM announcing first quarter operating diluted EPS declining 8% year over year to $2.25 on $18.2 billion. That's down 5%. And Intel saying it plans to exit the 5G smartphone modem business and will focus 5G efforts on network infrastructure and other data-centric opportunities. Turning overseas, Asian markets mixed today. The Nikkei up a quarter percent. The Hang Seng down 0.02%. China CSI 300 up 0.04%. And South Korea's Kospi down 0.12%. European markets edging higher and U.S. futures calling for a positive start. In terms of expectations today, PepsiCo first quarter EPS seen at 91 cents, U.S. Bancor first quarter EPS seen at a dollar, and Morgan Stanley first quarter EPS seen at a dollar 17. On the economic dock at 8.30 in the morning, we have the trade of balance for the month of February, 10 o'clock in the morning, wholesale inventories for February, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, the Federal Reserve's beige book. Now in the markets, the S&P 500 sees 29.26.75 in sight, the Nasdaq sees its target at 77.28, and that's in focus. The relative strength index advocates for further upside. Long positions above 76.69 are favored, with targets at 77.12 and 77.28 in extension. The Dow Jones, meanwhile, sees a rebound in sight.